Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. We want to take a moment to say thank you all who celebrated with us and joined with us on yesterday uh, here at the Fountain, where we had a wonderful time of realizing that God gives us more than enough. You know, I'm so happy that whenever you put your faith and trust in God, it never runs out. Today, I want to invite you to look with me into a very powerful text out of 1 Timothy, the fifth chapter, verses one through eight on this marvelous Monday. Let's hear what God has to say. You know, in 1 Timothy 5, 1 through 8, Paul begins to uh, share with Timothy some practical guidance and caring for his church community or for those who are part of his community of faith. He emphasized respect, compassion and responsibility. He encourages Timothy to treat older men as fathers and younger men as brothers and older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with purity. These instructions call for him treating every person in the family of God, underscoring their religious role as a supportive role, and is interconnected within the entire community. Paul also speaks directly about the importance of caring for his own family, especially widows and those in need, saying that anyone who has neglected this duty has denied the true faith. This message here is very clear that faith and responsibility go hand in hand. By caring for our families, we not only fulfill a moral duty, but we also reflect God's love, living out our beliefs in very practical ways. Today, this passage challenges us to consider how we're caring for those in our own family and our church community. In a fast paced world where individualism often takes precedence, we are called to a higher standard of compassion and support. This includes honoring the elder generations, showing that for love and those around us is never neglected and our responsibility to provide for our family members, it all depends upon us. In this contemporary life in which we live, honoring families and the church family means more than providing financial help. It also means offering emotional support, our time and our presence. Embracing these values, we create a space where each person feels and seen as value, a community that reflects God's love. Let's take a moment today to reach out to someone in our family, to call somebody, to say, I love you, I care for you. Call not only your brothers and your sisters, call your cousins, call your aunts, call your uncles, call those distant cousins and let them know that they love. We have to also reach out to our church family, to our religious community, because they need our support as well. We have to reach out for those who've had loved ones who transitioned. We must remind them that God loves them and God is doing a great work in their lives. And doing this, we not only fulfill Paul's instruction, but we also embody Christ's love, strengthening the bonds within our family and our faith traditions and communities. It is through these actions that we live out our faith that is genuine, is practical, and it is deeply honoring God. Today, if you and I want to honor God, let's make sure we share time with our family and that while we're in that moment, let's be in that moment. Turn off your cell phone, turn off those other distractions and turn on your ears and your heart to listen to them. May all of us truly be in the moment and not going through the moment because God wants us to know that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And I look forward to sharing with you again later. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.